Guess what, guys? I'm fu- I'm gonna do it. I'm now going to be able to get all of you guys arrested for trolling my chat. <laughs> because, like this article said, well, this is actually in the UK, so there's nothing I could do. I'm gonna move to the UK so I can get you all arrested. Is what's gonna happen for internet bullying. Apparently, online trolls will be jailed if they cause psychological harm. You guys are done. I'm pretty sure didn't didn't the UK do or try to do something where they made it hard to like put memes out or something? I I barely the UK sucks. America's so much better. I'd rather have school shootings and not be able to troll people online. Honestly, mostly because I'm not in school. But did you guys know we actually saw a significant drop in school shootings last year? I think actually zero. Oh, we're making a lot of progress. Mostly because there was no school in session. Because of the coronavirus. Anyway. Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry, I got I just like chugged like a bunch of water. Social media users could face up to two years in prison if they knowingly cause psychological harm online. It has been reported. Now, the first thing I want to note is I'm pretty sure if you tell somebody to like take their own life, or tell, if you say, tell somebody to un- unalive themselves, I think that can be prosecuted or whatever. You can get arrested for that. So I'm pretty sure you can already get a, a, arrested for bullying. So I'm not entirely sure online bullying, really. So I'm not entirely sure what the point of this bill is, honestly. Um, I mean, it makes sense to try to maintain the same standards online that we have in person Add a little bit of humanity to the internet. I mean, I get it. That makes sense. You know, if you tell somebody to, you know, take their own lives in real life, you can actually go to jail. Um, I think there was a girl who did it over text. I think that she told, or, oh, I think she, she, there was a, her boyfriend. They were young. He was like turning to her for something and she kept ur- con- uh, urging him to take his own life and he did. And then she got arrested for it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I get not wanting people to tell you to take their own lives and all that, but. I don't know. Anyway, new uh, new offenses are set to be created by upcoming legislation called the Online Safety Bill. Let's zoom in since I'm getting old. In its current form, the bill would focus on threatening social media companies with fines up to 18 million for failing to tackle abuse. But the changes can see individual users uh, prosecuted at a much larger scale. What's so difficult about this, though, is that as we're we're already kind of seeing um, more personal apps, I guess like Twitter and TikTok, are already being kind of restricted with how i'm not going to say edgy but kind of how edgy you can be but it's not even like edgy anymore you know it's it's i don't know man like i i understand like i got removed from tiktok and i was very i was i was pushing the boundaries i get that but there's been a lot of people after me that have been heavily hit like content creators who don't even make edgy content i there was one content creator if you i don't know if you guys know who he is but basically he had like this thing where he just showed his butt in like a pantsuit and then he did like this with his lips. And he had tons of videos taken down because he said one of them he pretended to punch something and it got pulled down for harassment. And it's kind of crazy because I feel like we are on a bit of a slippery slope that we've already been on for a long time. And I understand trying to clean up the internet, but you know, I also feel like when you put this much burden on the social media companies themselves, not that you shouldn't put it on them to police their own app, but. Um, when you put it on them for this kind of stuff, um, they might just go overboard and kind of shut everything down. I do wonder, though, it says a tackle abuse because this talked about psychological abuse or psychological harm. I wonder if like pedophilia is in there because we know that like TikTok and Twitter, or at least TikTok, is a fucking breeding ground for pedophiles. And I feel like we're so focused on like online bullying. Which makes sense. But what about little kids? It seems like we forget about kids all the time. Um, but it says, but the changes could be could see individual users prosecuted at a much larger scale. Okay. The new offenses include threatening communications, which covers messages and posts where the author intends the, their victims to fear a threat will be carried out. I get it. I do get it. Because in real life... Even if I'm joking around, I'm like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Even if I don't mean it, if the person, these ads are fucking insane. If the person I say it to thinks I mean it, um, I can get in trouble, which makes perfect sense. I think, I remember listening to something. There was a, a prank. It was some dumb bullshit TikTok prank. And a lawyer weighed in. 
And the prank was they had a stack of like 10 cardboard boxes and they tied it to a string. So it made, when you would tip it over, it would like half fall. And uh, they would do that at people. People would jump out of the way. And the lawyer was like, you know, if those people get hurt, even though you don't intend to harm them because they have a reasonable suspicion of harm and they get hurt because of that, you get sued as if you were going to harm them, basically. And so it's very interesting. Um, and I get it. It's just like this seems very loose. This seems like a very loose thing. And I totally get trying to crack down. It's just like, what What are the implications? The problem is, is I feel like this is going to be very, very, very um, loosely interpreted. Interpreted. Oh, my God. Interpreted. Jesus Christ. And so this could either mean that somebody that does a really bad thing won't get caught or somebody that doesn't do a bad thing will get caught. If that makes any sense, depending on what the narrative is. I, I just I think it's kind of a bad thing when we have very loose um when we have very loosely interpreted uh, bills. Anyway, knowingly false communications will cover users uh, who know to be false and are sent with the intention of causing emotion. Wait, what? Knowingly false communications will cover messages users know to be false and are sent with the intention of causing emotional, psychological, or physical harm to the likely audience. I don't know what that means. Similar offenses currently exist in law, but convictions uh, focus on whether the content contains indecent or grossly offensive material. So I guess they're adding psychological harm to that. I feel like the problem is, well, I mean, I guess indecent and grossly offensive are also subjective. The problem is, is that like psychological harm is very subjective. So like, you know, like if you called me a big fat, dumb piece of shit and that I should go kill myself, I'm going to laugh. But you could say the same thing to somebody um like a girl and they'll cry you know <laughs> you know like my my like you could say, you could say that to me and i'll laugh but if i tell my fiance that she's got a booger out of her nose she'll fucking she'll go like Ugh! she'll get so upset sorry trigger warning but you get what i'm saying like people <laughs> i'm sorry baby <laughs> but people have different interpretations of things and so the, a lot of this is very um, it's just open to interpretation. I just don't know if this is going to play out the right way. Uh, ministers have now accepted recommendations from the Law Commission uh, for the focus to be shifted onto the content's likely psychological harm, Sunday Times reports. The culture secretary, Natalie Doris, is said to be planning to add the offenses to next month's bill. What the fuck is this? What is this asshole doing here? Um... Oh, it's just, it's just bringing up Facebook to throw Mark Zuckerberg in there so that the robot algorithm will pick his fucking salamander face up and throw it through there. Former uh, Tory cabinet minister. What is this? What do these words mean? David Davis said that the new legislation would be too subjective while digital rights companies warned the events were too broad. Those are kind of the same thing, right? Like too subjective. It's based on the way that you want to interpret it versus too broad. It's like it covers too much. There's just not a whole lot to zero in on. And it makes it difficult for companies to zero in on what they have to end in order to comply with this law, which means that they're either going to not care or what's more likely is they're going to just freak the fuck out. And then TikTok is literally just going to be audio. So there's going to be no more. No more people talking, you know what I mean? Kind of a thing. Hey, shut the fuck up. I'm sure you're in the chat who just texted me. But fuck you. Anyway, Twitter has previously criticized the government for failing to clarify how content could be harmful but still legal. That's fair. A government spokesperson said, we are making our laws fit for the digital age. Our comprehensive safety uh, online safety bill will make tech companies responsible for people's safety. We are carefully considering uh, the Law Commission's recommendations on strengthening criminal offenses. I get it. I totally do because I've been talking about it for such a long time that when it really boils down to it, we, we're not caught up um, with the internet. We haven't dealt with this shit correctly. The internet's been around for a long time and we barely have any legislation that would specifically like, you know, deal with anything that happens on the internet. But I feel like just kind of how loose this is, like what? I, there needs to be specific things. Like if you tell somebody to take their own life, you can get arrested. Makes perfect sense to me. Or if you tell somebody to cut themselves, that makes sense to me. If you tell somebody to cause physical harm, that makes sense. But I feel like there needs to be a, there needs to be more here because there's also a conversation to be had about like what you say versus the what or what the how the person interprets it. Like if I say a, if I say a harsh criticism, like you're a really shitty, worthless person, and um. 
somebody hurts themselves because of that, like, yeah, I'm, I maybe I'm rude for being harsh, but I'm not asking you to hurt yourself. I'm just criticizing you for bad behavior. So I don't know. I kind of feel like, um, I kind of feel like the implications of this could be actually rather bad. I suppose we'll see what's happening, but also I'm fucking American, bitch, and this is why America's the number one. We don't care about regular. We don't care about bullying at all. Take that. Our president can't even stay awake. So, <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, this isn't this. I don't think this is a step in the right direction. Well, it's it's a step in a good direction, but I don't think that it's going in the right direction. We need to start having we we need to start considering more. Uh, we need to have these conversations more about what we can and can't do, and what specific instances are good and bad on the internet. That's really what we need to do. Hey, thank you so much for the sub.